the 80 tiny control addressable LED traffic light finally completed and you can see it's working like a really true traffic light power through USB which act as a programming port as well because I got a DigiSpark bootloader on the 80 tiny 85 inside well this video will show you a review of how I build it let's go through some photos and videos got buttons you can hear the clicks so it's just a piece of plastic that I wedged here and there's two buttons here and just you click on it epoxy hot glue and they're ready and a connector and I got the socket which was uh, was missing so I couldn't make the board all the parts traffic light itself with a connector and a post and a USB cable and all of this mess has to go on our board. Well, hopefully by the end of the day we'll have a working traffic light. Ah, ah yes, and I have to make a hole somewhere here. What a mess. And mount it this way, like that. It's gonna be cool. So, I soldered and glued the USB cable. And the first sets of parts are on the board. Two sets of resistors to the XDAL, a capacitor, and a pull up. So, you need to solder it into place. That will be the first step. And then uh, put the other parts. So, the main components were already soldered. I added the VCC line here and put the chip inside and connected it to the computer and got the great blip. So it works well. Now I need to put two sockets, one for the addressable, one for the buttons, and this is where the LED is going to be connected here and give it ground. Well, that's the solder continue. You got the socket for the addressable LED ready. This one here, as you can see, working well. Next step is a connector for the buttons and I need to solder the lead as well that will go into this hole here I finished soldering everything, added the lead now let's see if the buttons are working this one works well let's see if the other one will trigger the lead oh, it didn't trigger the lead for some odd reason So we got a bug. Done with the lead, done with the extra socket, and now we just need to hot glue this into here. And the gun is almost ready. And it's finally working. It's got two buttons, manual and auto. You can see the, red, the LED in the back there that tells you it got into auto mode. Over the video, I've mentioned the DigiSpark uh, bootloader several times. So the DigiSpark looks like this. This is the board. This is how it looks. It's one of the tiniest uh, USB Arduino boards out there. It's based on the 85. Now, I've searched and I found two really good instructors. This one from Instructables and this one from uh, SparkFun. Both of them talks about the same thing. Here it's done with the 80 tiny 84 and here is done with the 80 tiny 85. Um, 
what it basically allows you is to connect the the tiny 85 directly through USB to your computer and upload the code without having an SPI or an FTDI in the middle. Um, it works really great. Um, it, it took me a little bit to install the drivers for the micro Noculus. I'm hoping <laughs> I'm pronouncing it correctly, bootloader, but once I got it running, it works wonderful. Uh, the only thing that it's do annoying that they basically have some form of a COM port um, um, way to do the driver, but I was not able to get that one running. Um, I've tried it on several computers. It seems that once uh, there was a major change probably in Microsoft and it's just, you can get those drivers to install. Uh, I tried it on Linux as well. I got it installed, but you can open the COM port. It's really strange. Um, if anybody knows anything about it, I would love to hear that on the comments. Uh, and now let's go over the code. The code is extremely simple. I'm using the fast LED library. I got two LEDs and the other pin is on PB2. Um, I got two buttons, one for auto mode and one for manual mode. Uh, it's on PB1 and PB0. I have a LED for uh, LED for uh, letting you know that the, the auto mode was pressed and that's on PB5. Uh, yes, I know that's the reset, but the reset is disabled in this format. I've changed the, um, the fuses so I can actually use this and since I'm uploading things to the USB, I don't really need the reset button. Um, LED colors is just to make it easier for me to know which of the uh, LED is what. So we got green, orange, and red. Uh, we got states, which is green, orange, red, and red, orange. Um, we got two system states. One, of course, is manual, and the other one is auto. I uh, this is the definition from the library. You need two, you need LEDs and the numbers of LEDs you have. I've made a, um, some arrays to make my life easier, like the color IDX. That allows that allows me not to have to write this every time, and just I can get the color IDX and the color that I want from this list. Um, I'll show you in the code in a second. LED state, system state. Uh, last let's state change and I've cut a lot of comments on the timing of my uh, traffic light. Uh, I just had it fixed on two seconds, uh, 2000 milliseconds seconds or two seconds for each of the lead change and uh, I've read so many comments about it. So I, I, I've made it just easy to change. So you'll get 7,500 7, on the green, 1,000 on the orange, 5,000 on the black and 500 on the change from black, orange, and then forward. Uh, setup is pretty simple, just setting up the, LED, the LEDs, um, the pin modes for the uh, two buttons and the extra LEDs, setting the system state as an auto, and setting the LED state in zero. So let's go to here for a second. Set LED state just says which of the light to turn to what on depending on the new state. So if it's green, I'm just turning this one to green and turning those two to black and so on and the rest of the colors, setting it to the new state, saving when I, when I did that, and of course you have to run the fast LED show, otherwise the LEDs would not update. Now, my loop is extremely simple. Test if I've pressed the manual pin. Uh, if I did, I'm moving it one forward. And using here a Modelo 4, meaning if I get to 4, I'll go back to, back to 0, easy way, instead of doing it with if I got to the last number and then set it back to 0. Uh, I've set the system state to manual, and I'm doing a quick and dirty debounce for the button, so you won't get ex a lot of presses on one press, with delay 500. Um, <clears throat> when I go to the auto, if the auto mode is pressed, I'm setting the system in auto mode, and I also blink the LED, because when you push the manual, you immediately see a change. The color will change the next color in the, uh, in the LED or in the sets of the LEDs. Uh, while on the manual, it just takes time until the actual wait time is over. So I've added the blinking of the LEDs so you can actually see you went into manual mode, uh, sorry, into auto mode. And if we are on auto mode, we see if the last change plus the wait period, which I showed you before, is it's more than milliseconds, means the time has passed, and again, we do the moving to the next state of the LEDs. That's it, that's the entire code. I hope you enjoyed it, any comments will be appreciated. Share, like, join the channel, and have a good day.